Hey, what's going on guys? Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming, and today we're going to do another Bacteria mod. This is for 1.7.2, but if the mod updates, just follows the same directions with the new versions of Minecraft, and it should work with no problem. And when it does, I'll update the title for you guys. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace. Just kidding. Alright, let's get, um, let's get to the mod. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a Minecraft. This should only take a few seconds. We're just going to change the version to 1.7.2. Because we've been playing on the Forge from 1.7.10. So we're going to go to Edit Profile. Go here. Go all the way back up to 1.7.2 release. And hit Save. And we want to play that version. So you always have to have it running in the version that you want to use. Right? Does that make sense? Makes sense, right? So quit. Then we're going to look at the forum pages. This is the bacteria mod. The bacteria mod's right here. It'll tell you about it if you want to see a spoiler. If not, you go down here. You go to all this. It'll take you to add a fly. You wait five seconds, get your ad, and there you go. All right? Leave the page. We're not going to download the mod. We already did that. And then when you're done, just put it on your desktop. Go to releases. After you go to releases, go to files. This will take you to all the latest versions of Minecraft. If you want to go to 1.7.2 this time, go to install it. If you're looking for a different version of Minecraft, just do it there. The latest version right here and go to install after you go to airfly through all that stuff just put it on your desktop nice and simple right all right so we got forge on our desktop we want to right click forge open with java tm platform binary if you can't find this go to choose the four programs and go and see your java programs and pull it up if not just put it up here this is install client hit okay give it a few seconds this is going to load in the forge version now when you load in the Forge version, it usually takes a couple of minutes. It's like putting a loader or a, a kind of a like adaptable launcher for mods in there for you. So you let that unpack, you let it do your little, <laughs> let it do its thing, and it'll get done, and you're done. So you got that, now, right? Then what you want to do, you could go to run Minecraft and run Forge one time and set that all up, but we could also skip that part and just hit Windows R, and that'll that'll not do that. I don't know what I was doing there. Windows. Oh, that's when you hit Windows E. Okay. And that'll bring up this. This is your percent app data. If you want, you can do this. Go here and hit percent app data. Bring this to the same place. Roma file brings this up. Same thing. Right? Double click in Minecraft. And you got a mods folder here. This mods folder has something in here already. This is for 1.7.10. So we're not going to throw that mod inside there. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it, write down 1.7.10, so we can use that later. Right now we're going to write. We're going to do a new folder. We already have a folder named like that. What we could do is just just delete this folder. Then. Oh, I know why I can't do that, because I have it open. We need to quit the game. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to take... Oh, okay, we deleted that. And this is like this is like a test one, so you can see what's in here. You can't have Minecraft running me this. I should know that. So we're going to make a new folder. The new folder is MODS, all in lowercase, no caps. So you open this folder up, right? Whatever these are, Minecraft's not going to read this if you put anything else. So if you're saving like mods in here for a different version, it's fine. Just don't, you know, click on, like, think your one point this is going to work. You have to erase that and then name this one something else. So it'll open up the empty one. It'll only, it'll only read M-O-D-S and lowercase letter mods. That's it. So we're putting a bacteria mod in here, version 1.7.2. Just make sure your versions are right and make sure everything's working right. So we do that and then we'll start up Minecraft. Give it a few seconds to start up. First thing we're going to do is edit profile. Go down to releases and then go all the way down to the bottom. Now we'll see a 1.7.2 forge. Make sure you're on the right one. When you got that all taken care of, hit save. Then hit play. This will take a few seconds for this and then we'll show off the mod for a couple of seconds. Then we're all done. We got four mods and a four mods loaded. Hit mods. The bacteria mods right there. Go single player. Well, let's create a new world so we don't mess up that world. Going creative and give it a few seconds. 
and then we'll spawn into here. And let's see if we can find some bacteria or something that we can put out. What is that? The bacteria splash potion. Bacteria jammer. We also have a jammer. A bunch of bacteria. So I guess we'll check all this out. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's horrible. What is going on? That thing's not working. Oh. Oh my god. We jammed the bacteria. Thank god. That was be that was beginning to be a problem. So if you have a bunch of bacteria, you go to the jammer, and it stops it. Oh my god, before it spreads horribly all over the world. Alright guys, be careful with this mod. It could mess up a lot of things. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.